it's December already and you're just still not there where you really wanted to be for this year. Your fertile flow is still blocked and it feels so disappointing now that we've got to December and also really frustrating. I know it's really hard at this time of year to keep positive and feel good when it's the holiday season and still it feels so empty without what you really, really wish for. I hear you. I know how that feels. I've been there myself. And I know that this time of year can be much harder. Have you thought about looking into the energetic side behind your blockages? I know it may sound a little woo-woo, but that's what helped me on my own personal fertility journey. There's the whole medical side of it and we can get all our results and look into why things aren't working for us. But on the other side, there's the energy side, our energy flow. And you know our bodies have enough electricity inside them to power a light bulb, but we can't see that electricity. It's exactly the same with our energy flow. When things in our body aren't flowing optimally, it can create blockages. And especially for us women, these blockages can show up in our reproductive system. Now, our brain stops sending signals optimally to our womb space when our energy is blocked. On my own personal journey through fertility, I had unexplained fertility after all the tests done by the doctors. And it was then that I turned to my energy healing techniques. I took a deep dive into my body, checking my body and checking my womb to discover what I was still holding on to. And when I talk about energy blockages, I'm talking about things like childhood memories that are still being held on to, heavy energy from past trauma. There may be mother-daughter relationship issues, father-daughter relationship issues, generational issues going back and back down the generations. There is so much that we hold on to in our womb space. And you only really realize it when you start discovering. And my specialized five-step technique to womb healing really takes you in deep into your womb so that firstly, you can discover what's going on, what's being blocked in your womb space and understand. It's so important to understand what's behind those energy blockages so that you can start healing and releasing them and reviving your energy flow. Because when you revive your energy flow, you're allowing your womb to function again. You're allowing the messages between your brain and your reproductive system to start working again. Remember that electricity, it's like the circuits are being connected again and everything can start flowing properly within your body. And your womb is your feminine core. So when your feminine core is really optimally energized, you feel energized in yourself. Your confidence is raised, your self-esteem. You feel amazingly empowered as a woman. And there's so many women who come to me refind their creative streak. It's something that we might have put to the side for quite a long time. You know, our passions are things we really love doing. They start blossoming inside of us because we're really in tune with our inner feminine, who we truly are. So I invite you to start using my five-step technique to womb healing. Come and ask me how you can start in my VIP womb awakening program. This is for you if you're really feeling ready to start making those steps towards releasing the energy blockages inside your body you understand that there is a second half to it, not just the medical side, that there is the energetic side and that you can go in with my guidance. So reach out to me with five steps, put it in the comments below and I'll get back to you and we can start chatting about how you can get started on your womb awakening journey and start really reviving your amazing feminine flow.